Hello, this is TTT speaking. Um, we are looking at the limits today again and at some improvements or changes to the color pool system. Um, I placed uh, a couple of planes on the limits here, uh, all empty. Uh, I'm here a uh, yellow shirt crew member. I will use slash rux towing mod. Uh, there is uh, vanilla planes like here the Neofron the Wipeout and the Buzzard. Uh, there is the F-18 from uh, John Spartan and Saul. There is uh, the C-1A Trader from Night Intruder as well as C-A-R-A-3B Sky Warrior also from Night Intruder and Firewheels F-14 on the deck. And um, one of the problems of the Nimitz is that the dealing with vanilla planes, the planes that come with um, Arma 3 by default is not terribly good and it's much better to use specialized planes that were made for use with the Nimitz like the Tomcat or the uh, the Super Hornet for example um, because they have some special um, um, configs to go with the Nimitz well. For example, there is um, a Airplane X simulation type and an Airplane simulation type and when you do the Airplane X simulation type all kind of funny things happen on the carrier. Usually you know that uh, because you cannot really taxi around because like you see it here in the background with the Neofron um, it's uh, wiggling all the time and it can't decide if it's on the sea level or if it's on uh, on solid ground and so it looks uh, a little bit weird. Same goes for the other vanilla planes and the worst probably is the wipeout uh, that basically sits on its tail. Um, yeah, This wiggling makes it especially tough because uh, you cannot really taxi with the wiggling plane on the carrier. So uh, for that purpose um, I've decided to give uh, Lishrax towing mod another um, try here. Or oh, what had another try, it's an excellent mod and uh, it works very well. Tractor is from Parel, I forgot to mention him uh, in the opening words, so it's also a, a custom mod. Not close enough. Okay. it's now attached, it still wiggles a bit, but it gets in a much nicer shape and we can safely taxi it around with Parallel Structor and the Shrax Towing Mod. So let's go to the catapult. This is usually where Doom is called for because uh, the plane will explode when it hits the invisible gaps and cracks on the Nimitz flight deck because the Nimitz flight deck is not a one single solid object but it's constructed of like uh, a dozen objects and um, this is usually too much for the vanilla planes when it encounters this bumpy flight deck on full acceleration with the uh, acceleration with the catapult system all kind of bad things happens and most times you just explode or, or yeah or it gets badly damaged. Um, I changed the script for the catapult slightly so you get uh, an up vector when you use this, uh, the catapult 
this is basically a hack so um, instead of staying on the flight deck and accelerating with the wheels on the touching the flight deck uh, the up vector is so strong that it basically lifts off immediately um, now the plane is attached to the limit so it stops juggling we have the shooter everything is fine we do a salute and the vanilla plane will take off you see it a little bit that it's really not um, oh 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 no <laughs> I forgot to lower the flaps sorry for that um, <laughs> it's um, it's my mistake so you need to lower the flaps when you do this kind of stunt but basically what I was saying is that the catapult system itself did not destroy the plane it was my fault uh, that I did not lower the flaps so I was uh, too low a speed okay let's try again with the buzzard this time idea why this plane is sitting on its tail but uh, there will be a reason and someday we will find it out not like the trader the trader is constructed to look like this so it's not uh, not at fault here but this one is uh, clearly uh, not really nice to look at on the limits so we enter our juggling uh, airplane X through the limits lower the flaps a little bit draw a salute and you probably see it from the cockpit a little bit that yeah you uh, get accelerated up uh, right away and the nice thi thing is uh, that your plane stays more or less intact during the cut work. Uh, let's check the damage we got. You see it's 0 0.0069446 so there's still some damage uh, applied to um, to the to the plane but it's not terrible much. Um, well Landing is another topic and I don't think I will cover it in this video. Um, just a quick information that planes that have been made for the Nimitz or um, with the Nimitz in mind, basically like this uh, Sky Warrior from um, Night Intruder, uh, they have a special gear um, set up which allows them to uh, work more nicely on the um, on the carrier pretty big the sky warrior and I see nothing it's a little bit too agile on the front wheels You see, when this plane is attached to the Nimitz, a special um, or another routine is run, so the up vector during the launch 
is not as big as for the vanilla planes. So the launch looks hopefully... Ah, okay, this one looked not so good. <laughs> but uh, some most times it looks a little bit nicer and the front wheel stays lower. But not this time, I guess this was the showcase for the video. Well, that's it. Um, hope you all have uh, a nice Christmas period and uh, happy holidays to all of you. Bye-bye.